Okay, we start off, I have a little few things set up already, like the names of the tracks, just to get things on the way, and I'm just going to drag the tracks down to the tracks with the court, uh, associated name. And here I'm just uh, trying to uh, go from the beginning of the track into some place into the video that has something interesting to show on the final video. And uh, decided to actually do a little bit more accurate to find, actually find a specific spot. So I'm uh, finding a spot with the cursor and then uh, uh, just moving the uh, beginning of the video until it clicks to the end of it. I've uh, shut off one track, and so I'm only looking at the second track down now. And it does all fit on the screen, so I'll have to shrink it down, and there... And then shut off the uh, track just above it, and so I can see the final track, and repeat. And it looks like I had the track mostly lined up right from the beginning, so it's only off by a few frames. So we'll zoom in and move that couple of frames over and slide that to the beginning. Now we need to have it so that it uh, crops off, and in this particular example I'm going to use a uh, alpha shapes command, but you could use anything like a crop or uh, even a... Um, um, rotoscope if you want some odd shape. So now I'm going through and I've put a, uh, a different compo uh, composite or a, a transition on there. In this case it's an affine transition and I'm setting every single transition so that its destination is always the background instead of the track immediately below it. So now I've added the alpha shapes, and we're going to set it to min. Not quite sure what that stands for, but it works. And you see the edges are a little bit fuzzy on the uh, the part that it's cutting out, so I'm going to take the transition width down to zero. And then we just set the uh, size. If the size and the position are completely independent, so we'll just set the the size that we want right here and then we'll position it where we want it okay I shut off all the other tracks so I can see what the the final will look like on just that one particular uh, track composite on the background Now I'll position it where I want it to be. Now I'm selecting copy there, you can't see it. And now I'm saying paste effects, you know, which you also can't see. But it basically just pastes the effect I had on the, the copied track. Um, so I get all the exact same settings. So now everything, all the sizes are set exactly the same. And now all I have to do is reposition where I want the, the next track to be. And I've got two tracks on here now, and I'll click on the third here, and now you can see basically what the final product will look like. Now, uh, it'd be nice if we could uh, actually have something centered up here. So we'll use a pan and zoom on that here in just a minute. Again, you can't see it selecting because it's off the screen. So I'm just adding a pan and zoom effect. And you see it adds it below the alpha shape, but we need it above because the uh, order matters on this. We want to be able to pan and zoom first and then have it cut out. Otherwise, when we move stuff around, it would also move our our shape around. But if we move the, the video first, then the shape stays where it needs to be. 
So the middle track's in the middle, so we don't really need to add anything to that. So I'll just add it onto the bottom track. And here, uh, I'll move it around before, and as you can see, it actually moves the actual uh, cutout area. So now I move it above the uh, alpha images, and now I can move the video around however I need to be, have it. And as you can see it, it looks like it'll be fairly decent. And here's the final product. Thanks for watching.